The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the 2023 general elections, Atiku Abubakar, has promised to prioritize the welfare of Kogi workers if elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the coming elections. Abubakar made the promise during the presidential rally of the PDP at the Confluence Stadium, Lokoja Kogi State Capital, in the company of his running mate, Governor Ifani Okowa, and other top functionaries of the Presidential Campaign Council of the party. He said Nigerians have been facing untold hardship, saying that PDP will ensure a turnaround of every sector of the economy if voted into power come 2023. Let's join our reporter for more. The PDP rally held at the Confluence Stadium was well attended by party stewards, supporters and lovers of the party in their thousands. The atmosphere was charged with singing and dancing as the people crowded to welcome the presidential candidate. Abu Bakar Atiku and his running mate, Ifai Okoa. Abu Bakar Atiku said, Kogi State remains strategic in the politics of Nigeria, promising that attention will be given to the state if he emerged victorious in the February 2023 presidential election. Let me also assure you that if you vote for PDP, there will be no more salary arrears in Kogi State. Lie, lie. Because we will support Kogi State to make sure that nobody is owed any salary. What I have seen from Obatana up to Lokoja is thousands and thousands of young men and women. We will give you jobs. If we don't give you jobs, we will give you businesses to do. You know, I have promised that I will set aside 10 billion US dollars to empower our young men and women so that they can build their own businesses and have a comfortable life in their lives. Let me also assure you that the issue of university closure, well, so the people of Kogi State we appeal to you. We are here not to deceive you. We are men of integrity, men and women of integrity. So I want to appeal to you to make sure that if you want your next state government to benefit you, vote a PDP in the presidential election. The former deputy governor of the state. Yemi Awoniyi, who doubles as the Director General of PDP Campaign Council in the state, and former governors of Kogi State, Idris Wada and Ibrahim Idris, expressed their happiness at the supporters who gathered in their large numbers. They encouraged the people of the state to get their PVCs and vote for all candidates of the PDP. Similarly, the 2023 Kogi Central PDP Senatorial Candidate, Natasha Apoti Udwaga, while speaking on behalf of other Senate candidates, TJ Yusuf of Kogi West and Victor Adoji of the Eastern Senatorial Districts, appreciated the people of Kogi State for their light turnout, calling on them to do the same at the election day. Other members of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council also took turns to announce their promises and why they should vote for PDP candidates, saying the country will experience a positive turnaround if PDP gets to power. They are ready. Mm. And they have spoken out. And you heard them loud and clear. They said they are ready to bring the change that the desire of Kogi that will deliver what God has given them. The 28 mineral resources will be put to use. And the Kuta will come alive. Our children will play again. They will have dignity. If you can take away their, anything from them, don't take away a man's dignity. So this is what they have expressed and I can't, I really can't wait to see His Excellency Elijah Abubakar Atiku sworn in as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I, the people of the state, wise on it. Let's not be blind, let's not be blindfolded by any sentiment. This is what we are doing. Are we comfortable to do that? If we are not, then we do the thing. You can see it, since it's believing. And I can tell you, I can assure you that this state, 
by come what May next month election, we are going to have in PDP, we have a minimum 65%. I'm a stakeholder in the state, so it's a message to me. We must try to be peaceful. We must allow this conduct to go each free. No violence that is known for. You understand? Peacefully. Let the people decide where they want to be. And let them decide who their leader truly is. They say we go back to peace. There's no big issue. I'm telling the people of the it is a sign that peace distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is returning to Nigeria. We are expecting of a lot of dignitaries and we have been saying they are already time without number that we need ready to be here. The fire. So let's get ready and get we need started. Someone who understands We're going to start the, the performances with our local system. America is working because all they the have artists, a working system. All the artists, especially from that's, Fuzi that's the difference. and Abuja Place. So when we put someone who has a working system, it's a template. When you put it down, nobody will change it again. And then we have Nigeria working. Nigeria is great, and Nigeria can be great. With him, and with the help of every one of us, I'm Nigeria will be great. The only thing is that everybody should come out with the, their PVC to vote for Atiku this time around. Atiku is our next president, as you can see, I have my BBC with me. I'm not only speaking that I support Atiku with mouth. I support Atiku with food added. The APC government is all about promising and they couldn't really keep their promises. So Atiku is coming to salvage the situation of this country. Though we know power belongs to God, but then he's coming and the promises BDP has on them it will change the nation. Nigerians have seen both sides of the coin. We'll be able to judge ourselves. The other two is at the judge. I'm not sure that by the judgment, we'll come and be told us. See the crowd across all the 20, 21 local government areas. In fact, people are still coming on their way. They are not yet here. I am assuring you that if everything goes as expected, the free and fair election will without any, any rank, I think we are going to make it this time around. Joshua Adenoy, reporting for MLC TV.